I am following today um, followers, my followers pick my makeup. So I put a poll out on Instagram on a few of the products that I use, but I don't use very often or I don't use as often as I really should. Um, everything except brows because I have a set routine for brows and that isn't changing. Um, so I put everything on and basically between everything you guys have picked what I use today. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, you can see I've got a couple of new friends once again. This one I can only blame myself for because it's like a tiny little like, lump under the skin and I basically sliced my face open to get the spot out. <laughs> my own fault. But um, I didn't do primer because I've only got one, which is a pretty fresh. I haven't found another primer yet that appeals to us like this one did. And then I'm actually so glad because I put concealer on and it was the non-soft matte that was chosen. And I need to cover this up, so I'm so glad. So I've just got a little Real Techniques detailer brush. I'm nearly out of this now. Definitely be one that I repurchase. I don't care about the price. I need this concealer in my life. And I'll come back to that. You guys, I oh, picked three NARS products. My kind of people. <laughs> so NARS Sheer Glow are the soft matte concealers in the lightest shade, which is Chantilly Light 1. And I've got the Sheer, Go, Sheer, Go, Sheer Glow Foundation in Light 4 Duvel. I think I used to have this in Mont Blanc, which was like my perfect colour back in the day. I think my skin's just changed so much in like the past like three years. I've got my Beauty Blender. And it takes me a good few coats of sheer glow to actually build it up to what I want. Which is unfortunate, but... It's a nice foundation, so I do feel like it's worth it. But we have been given a date in England that we can start going out again. So everything, like all of the shops, the hairdressers, everything like that, opens um, in April. Which I am so glad about. Because I can get to the sunbeds and then all my foundations will actually match me. I just can't wait because a lot of my acne clear well acne there's odd spot and stuff that I get like immediately cleans up with the sunbeds like my skin just loves sun and so I'm looking forward to getting rid of a lot of skin problems I always forget just how nice this foundation is and how nicely it sits on my skin like it just looks like my skin texture just totally evened out. I do love it. And I go back in with the soft matte concealer and that little detail brush. It's got a cap hair on it. I'm just gonna get under my eyes. Oh, I've just realised that mirror's been in the way the whole time. Do apologise. Yeah, I don't think that spot's going to cover it at all. No. I'm going to let my skin sit for a little bit. I was just saying I didn't get a bronzer out. It's sitting right here. Um, let's do brows because I kind of know what I'm doing with that and then we'll go from there.
there we are brows done right i'm going to do skin i think yeah i think i'm going to do the whole of my base and then just finish with my eyes um so let's do bronzer and i've started using like much bigger brushes so i'm just going to use a real techniques multitask brush And I've stopped powdering and then this is like literally just from some experiments um at the weekend so I was just like okay I'm not gonna like powder everything and then put my powders on because I always feel like I put too much on then I can't do anything about it whereas if I put too much on now or it goes in slightly the wrong place I can just take my blender and go back over it not like double powder in the things and it's just one layer of foundation and one layer of powder and then that's literally it I take the slightest bit just over my nose do blush which you guys pick the MAC raisin br brush blush and I'll use that on a elf highlighting brush I mean, that's just how much pigment is on there. I'm going to hugely overdo this, right? Look at that. And then I'll blend it back out. This is such a strong blush and probably way too dark for what I should be using. But I do love it once it's blended out and in and I think it just looks really nice with a bronzer. And then I'm going to do highlight. I'll actually use the same brush and I'll just use like the clean side of it. So you guys picked the um, Dior Glow and Gardens Nude Skin Highlighter. I didn't think there was that much on the brush. Okay. I can make this work, I can just buff it in a lot. I'm going to take my bronzer brush. Okay, so we've just got a bit of an intense highlight today. Whoops. And I now have to match the other side, which is the most annoying part. Okay, I think I've managed to pull that back to what it should be instead of being a big stripe across my face and I think it's really blended with my blush and bronzer and it just looks muddy but we'll just have to deal with it okay <laughs> then gonna pat out um my lines again and creasing which actually is really minimal creasing I never use that NARS soft matte concealer like on its own I always use it with a liquid but it's actually really good on its own and um, I'm just going to take a bronzing brush because it's here and I really don't need much powder so I've just popped that on like literally that much powder just in my t-zone is enough for me Otherwise, that's it. Didn't even really need powder. I'm trying to kind of come away with it because I use like a bit more matte products everywhere else. I'm trying to come away from the need of powder. Then there's just eyes left to do. By the way, you guys chose the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty, Beauty Butter Loose Powder. And then next you chose the At Forest Sight eyeshadow palette to don't really know what to do i might use i've not used this blue yet i haven't used the color amanita 
so i think i'm gonna use that and just do like a little bit of like an all over like wash of color and i'm just gonna use a mac mac a morphe 505 brush to do that i'm hoping this isn't gonna take half my eye out I'm just going to pack some of that on my lid just to get a really good colour payoff. Yeah, that's better. Little life update. I yesterday handed in my notice for my current job and I've got a new one which is less working hours for a very similar wage pretty much the same wage and it's closer to home so it's only like a 15 minute drive from home whereas my current job takes like half an hour and good traffic but a lot of the time it's not good traffic like the past year obviously because a lot of people are working from home and shops are closed and stuff it's been good traffic but normally, as long as it's in school term time, it can take me like an hour, sometimes more, to get to work. My current job did ask me a million ways that would make me stay. I was just like, you know what, it just, it feels the time to be going. So in just over five weeks time, I'll be starting a new job. Um, I've agreed to train someone new for my current job. So whoever gets that is gonna have to prepare. Cause there's a lot involved. Like there's not a lot involved at once, but there's a lot of like hats that you have to wear. If you like using that terminology. But I've already started preparing and Yesterday I did like a contractor list of all the people that we generally use and the names and numbers because a lot of the time I work alongside one of the directors and when I started I was like oh like this washing machine's broke what do I do? You'd be like oh bring him and you would just say their name and everything in the system is under company name and so I would just kind of sit and be like who's what how and so i've done a list for the new person that comes in which is everyone's name company name and their number because when i came in i didn't have someone who had been who'd been doing the job come and train me it was one of the other directors that came and trained me up and showed me how to do things generally for a couple like two three days i think it was but then she needed to get away and do her own work she couldn't sit next to me 24 7 for like three weeks to train me up and so i kind of just had to get on with it and i started at like the worst time of year it was right in the middle of all the summer student moves but this next job isn't dealing with tenants so it's very much like, I think it's very similar in America as where it is in England, where we have um, leaseholds and freeholds on the properties. And it's whether you own like the plot as well as the house. And I'm going to be looking after areas like that, like, like estates essentially that need maintenance as well as the actual houses. Like my estate has a park and it has trees and like grasslands and things so it does need that maintenance and that's what i'm now moving into the estate maintenance rather than individual properties so although it might be larger jobs larger things need doing it's not as much and i know a lot of them they go and do inspections and they maintain the area rather than a lot of landlords who will just do repairs if and when they come in they don't really go and do inspections and maintain it like you can try but it's pretty difficult to do i mean you can go and you can get your pat test 
and make sure the appliances are okay but it doesn't always mean that it's not going to have any issues so as well as trying to prepare for work I'm just gonna have a little sip of coffee for a second whilst I mention this. Trying to prepare for that, trying to prepare for my new job. I've spent the last pretty much three years near enough not wearing business wear for work. We didn't have to really be smart. Jeans and a t-shirt was considered as smart. So I've had to now spend how much have I spent? Like 160 pound around about there on new clothes for work. Because they are very smart, like they're sitting in blouses and blazers and trousers. Very much feeling this high colour, by the way. Just caught myself in the mirror, I'm like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Um, so we've been preparing for someone new, stepping in, trying to wrap up my job, any loose ends that I've got. Trying to get those sorted so no one's coming in to issues that I've got sitting, just like waiting to get through and get answered. Like it's a lot at the moment and then I've chose at the weekend I want to start sorting through cupboards and drawers and having a really <laughs> big sort out of the house. And I'm just like as if I don't give myself enough stress and then put more on myself and then I go, ah, oh, my psoriasis is flaring up and I don't know why. Bitch, that's why. Like, are you kidding me? Mm. Like... I just get so confused myself why I give myself this much to do. But then if I don't, I get bored. And then Easter weekend, I've set myself the task of touching up all of the paintwork in the house. So it's like the woodwork needs the um, the satin wood put on it and touched up in areas where it's chipped. Some of the walls have got like just wear and tear, just like scrapes across it with bags and stuff. It's like all of that needs touched up. And I just think like, who am I and why the hell do I do this to myself? For a little bit of a black on this, just on the lash line, I feel like it needs a little bit more depth in there. You know it is, I haven't cleaned my brushes in so long. It's been like a week and I need to just grit my teeth and do it. Um, but I'm taking the colour Let It Rain, which is just the glittery black. I actually love this colour. And I'm just gonna put that on my lash line and then blend it up. Like yeah, that's so much better when so my eyes open. There's just like the absolute darkness, dark with a bit at my lash line and then it comes up with the pink. The difference between the two eyes, it's just like having that depth and darkness at the lash line but yes you'll notice the bed has gone i haven't sold it yet but i've moved it to the sitting room so it's now behind the sofas in the sitting room so that it's out of my way when i sit on the sofa i'm not looking at it i don't notice it so i don't care but i did have someone who wanted to buy it and so I took it off from sale and I was just like, okay, it's here when you want to come pick it up, no problem. Um, and then like they just went quiet and they haven't contacted me to say they still want it. And so I've just put it back on for sale. Like I want to put a shimmer on it, but I'm just like, no, stop it. Too far. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to purposely close this, put it to one side and get it away from me. Because I'm just going to keep going at this point. I can feel it. I'm just going to keep going. Let's glue up these lashes. So these are the GLA, GLA strip lashes. Oh, I think I just tore that. And these are in number 7 style. Which they are quite nice in the daytime bit of a daytime look. I'm gonna put mascara on. So you guys chose the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is one of my favorites. So that will do me nicely. This mascara, I don't think I've ever really explained it before. It's a very 
wet formula so best to give it like a couple of weeks to dry out a little bit and then it's a really good mascara it's not worth the 22 pound that it costs but it does give like extreme black and it's like more volume than length and it does make them really nice and fluffy right i think the only thing left is to put the lashes on they're not quite ready to go on yet so i'll do lipstick and then do lashes last so you guys wanted Brave Lipstick by MAC. So I'm just going to find a lip pencil to go with it because it is a satin. And I feel like it's just going to go everywhere. So bear with. I've picked this one out, which is actually from Primark. I don't know. The, oh, in the colour Toast. Oh, that was literally a pound. Yes. I love a good bargain. And I've just chopped it in half practically. Okay, time to start sticking some lashes on. Okay, the amount of time I've spent trying to get the wrapping off this pencil is criminal. So glad that I'm just sitting waiting for my lash glue to dry whilst I do this yes okay that just took me so long it was disgusting got it okay that's my accomplishment of the day get a bit of plastic off a lip pencil right going with brave from mac um i'm just going to take the corners of um my lashes in first and that one's on and it's fine When you squeeze this, guys. Oh, that's just actually added a nice bit of pink to go with the eyes for that lip liner. Wait another five minutes for the lash line, lash line for the lash glue to dry, and then I'm gonna go in with the last thing, which is the Fenty Fry Liner um, eyeliner pen. So go in with that last just to blend the lash band in and we'll be all done. Be back in five. Just had to check my emails as well. I literally bought the Jaclyn highlighter and blush bronzer duo over three weeks ago and it's not here yet. I'm like, I understand it was a big launch and I'm in the UK, but like I get from like Colourpop had a massive launch with the raw beauty crusty stuff and this was here in less than two weeks i think it took about 10 days and i'm like it's now for jacqueline being 22 days 23 days 23 days since i ordered it like where the fuck is it <laughs> As I've got these lashes on, I don't feel as though I need a, um, a wing. I think like these lashes are enough. Good choices, guys, because I am loving this. I've even been loving recently, like a thinner brow. I don't know if it's just me wanting it to be like 1998 again, but I'm loving a thinner brow. I'm just like, bring the 2000s back, all in for, like, always and forever, forever, forever. But yes, guys, I think I'm done. That was everything you guys picked. Of course, I want to use this more because I feel as I don't pick it up enough and there's some bomb colours in here. Like, I really want to use that blue, but I'm just like, how the hell do I deal with that? So if you've got any suggestions on how to work that blue let me know i feel as i could incorporate it in a look but i don't want it to be too dark and i kind of want that blue to be the main focus of it i might do a video where i put things in my wish list for online shopping and then whichever one you guys pick i buy yes yeah i'm feeling that let me know what other videos you want to see in the comments below. 
or just let me know how you're doing or how to use that blue in that palette um and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see see you in the next video bye guys